for a second. Okay. All right. All right. Let me introduce it. Here. Wait, I don't even want to introduce it. We're just gonna do Snapchat Q&A. It's simple. We'll keep it simple. Ah, uh, for sure. All right. Now I got it. But no, but that was an introduction. That was an intro. That was the intro, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was the intro, though. Alright, Mike. It's about me and all Aaron London. Out in the bevies. You know what I mean? So I went to come to England for a nice little chat. What did he just say? What did he just say? I have no idea. Oh my god, we need a real question. I know a lot of people are skeptical and a lot of subs. But uh, me personally, I take aminos a couple times a day. Okay, supplements. I like supplements, and I do think supplements have a place. And you're talking about specifically aminos, and I do like taking aminos. But at the end of the day, no matter what, you guys have to realize that whole food is never going to be beaten. But yeah, I do take supplements. I do take aminos. I do take fat burners. I, I have taken fat burners. I'm not taking them now. I have taken. It's so loud. It's all good though. I have taken protein powder, everything. So, supplements are great, but you guys have to understand no matter what supplements you're taking, like nothing is gonna do with your body or for your body that, that whole food can do for your body. So, never skip out on that. What's the benefit of drop set? Um, the benefit of a drop set, to make it simple, uh, you're gonna be able to get more work done, more time and attention, because you're going from a heavier weight as much as you can, going to a lighter weight as much as you can, and, Depending on how many drop sets you're doing, you keep going. So you can get more work done in a short amount of time. So that's the benefit of the drop set. That was not a question. That was that nothing. Was a, that was a farm. Yo, Bradley, will you be at this year's Olympia? And if you will be, what would you do if I brought you a bag of Sour Patch Kids? All right, so I will absolutely be at this year's Olympia. If you bring me a bag of Sour Patch Kids, I'll slap the bag straight out of your fucking hands. Because, wait, I already got one. Ah, man, what the? No, no I won't slap it then because I don't have it because he just played me. So what I'll do is I'll take that Sour Patch bag and I'll eat every Sour Patch kid in it and then give you back the bag because I don't want to carry it around. You, you got to say thank you, though. I will say thank you. I won't slap it out of your hands. No, now you want to give me a Sour Patch bag? Okay, I got you, baby. Thank you. I already got one, man, but in the bag... If the bag is not this big, then why, why are you always looking at me funny? Because I love you, Bradley. Thanks. Have a good one. See ya. The bag, all I got to say is the bag has got to be this big. Otherwise, like, I can't get down with it. Because, like, I need a lot of Sour Patch Kids when I eat Sour Patch Kids. Anyways, let's get some real questions. But, yes, I will be at the Olympia, and I look forward to seeing all you guys there. What? What do you say? I don't know. I didn't hear. All right. Well, sorry. Oh, okay. Bradley, what's the best way to add some size and thickness to my arms? I mean, they're nice, but they're not. They're not great. Need some thickness. His arms are thick. His arms are thick as shit. If you saw this guy, he's like, oh, I don't think it's a lot. How do you replay it? You hold it. You gotta hold it. Replay. Look at it. Look, look, look. Come here. Look how thick his arms are. Jesus. We got thick ass arms. Ask me about putting size. Okay, so I mean, if you want more thickness on your arms, like keep it in arms. Is that simply put? You have to add mass. You have to add size. It's simple. You know, um, I think a lot of people get caught up on like, how do I, you know, how do I put more mass here or mass there or whatever it is. And at the end of the day, it's gonna come down to like, are you eating enough calories? Are you putting enough food in your body to add the extra weight? And are you challenging yourself hard enough to get? So, yeah that extra weight added on to you. So it's gonna come down to that. So if you wanna get more mass on your arms, hit arms more, eat more food, get more rest, make sure that you're doing everything that's gonna make optimal for you to grow those arms. So, but you got big ass arms, bro. I don't know what you're worried about. Look at his, look at his name, look at his name. Tony the Pony. But we're gonna ask, we're gonna answer his for sure. <laughs> I seen it, he thought I wasn't gonna see it, but I did. Uh, the reason why I don't like to post my music is because I like a lot of random different kinds of music and I feel like people are gonna be like, what, why do you listen to this? Why are you listen to that, you know? But I might do it. I might, I might add like a playlist to Spotify, make that one public. 
I might not. I don't know. I gotta decide. I gotta figure this out. It's this guy again. I can't do this guy again. He's not saying words in English. <laughs> All day, is he, dude? No, no, he's. He's, he's actually something. English. No, he's but, English. Oh, really? He's from London. Uh, from Le <laughs> was that good? From London. You sound like you're from London. Yeah. So, okay, London. let's do this. You can make any junk food get you some serious gains. What would it be? Mine would be pizza. Because I fucking love pizza, man. Besides Sour Patch Kids, obviously, your question was um, ice cream sandwiches. Okay, I'm a fiend for ice cream sandwiches. Ooh. Late at night. Actually, I don't want to tell you guys about this story, but ice cream sandwiches, to say the least. Hey, Bradley, um, I have a question concerning muscle ups. Like, what's the actual technique behind this exercise? Like, how do you muscle up? Thank Yo, you. I thought his hand wasn't even his hand in that video. But he's asking about muscle ups. What's the technique on muscle ups? Honestly, there was probably no way I could break it down sitting to you on this couch. The technique of a muscle up. And it is a movement that is similar to an Olympic lift, the way that you use your hips, the way that you kind of throw your body. And it's just a whole mess of things that I can't really explain to you, so I apologize. So, he's saying his bench press has improved, um, but he wants to see more improvement. So my question to you and anyone out there who has the same question, um, the progress that you've made, like, have you completely stalled out or is it just slower, right? That's a question you gotta ask yourself. And if it's slower, keep going until it stalls out and then figure out a new way or a new style of training that's gonna help you keep progressing um, or a different loading method or a different rep set scheme to keep progressing or maybe a less, less of a rest time, more of a rest time. So just change what you're doing to get a different effect. But don't change it if you haven't stuck to something. So that's really important. I've talked about this in a lot of my other videos. Make sure you've stuck to something before you change it to something else. So you can't be like, okay, I wanna, I wanna get my bench press better, but I've been doing this for a week, but it's not working. Like a week is not long enough to see real growth or real change in a heavy compound lift. Okay, you gotta keep going. You gotta work longer, harder than that. Oh my God, I can't say anything. If you're gonna send me a video of you like lurking in the background, use your words, not your text, okay? It's creepy. What do you do if your calves are uneven? <sighs> I feel his pain because my calves are uneven. Everybody's calves are pretty much uneven. So what do you do if your calves are uneven? I haven't even figured it out, but the reality is you want to get them bigger, I'm assuming. Get them both bigger at the same time. One may always be a little bit bigger because most people tend to lead off on one side more than the other. Um, but honestly, like, just focus on getting them bigger overall. Um, try unilateral stuff. I've talked about this in a lot of my other videos. Do things that you aren't already doing. Another thing I like for calves, and I think I did this in the last, was it the last Q&A, try longer stretches in the bottom portion of like a calf, like a seated calf raise. Long stretch, meaning like 10, 20 seconds, like holding the bottom, and it's really gonna burn the shit out of your calves. But give it a try, you'll like it. But you really won't, because it'll make you want to cry. But it's okay if you cry, because Let's go to the next question. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not flexing hard though. I wasn't even flexing hard. It's not serious. Hey bro, how big do you want to get? Simple as that. Okay. His question was how big do I want to get? I don't really want to get much bigger. Um, 63, 260 is probably the most I want to be. But there are certain like things I want to get better. Like I want my triceps to get better. Um, you're good, he's all good, don't worry. No, you're good. He said nothing, he's like a ghost. He's like a ghost, he's like sleeping like a ghost. No, 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 he's good. <laughs> so, I'm only not pale because I have a 310 on, but let's not keep talking about that. Um, oh yes. Anyways, so, what were we talking about? Um, do you want to get much bigger? Oh yeah, how much bigger do you want to get? Oh, okay. I want to get my triceps bigger, I want to get my calves bigger, and I want to get my quads bigger. And my back. It's kind of, it's pretty much everything, but not really everything, but kind of everything. But not really. I don't know. To be honest, like all jokes aside, I don't want to get much, much bigger. Um, I like where I'm at. I want to be, I want to like refine what I have and become more athletic, 
drop a little bit of body fat. I think you guys are probably thinking like, oh, this fucking asshole. Like, but you know, that's just my personal goal. So at the end of the day, focus on your goals. Don't worry about my goals. You know, let's get you guys better. That's what it's about. Okay. Hey Bradley, can I ask you this question for you? Play one more. I love it. I like that kid's swag, bro. Of course I like watermelon. <laughs> Watermelon's great. All right, next question. That was an easy one. You're so positive, but always keep negativity out of your life. By the way, Bradley, I love you from the UK. And uh, fuck you, Nadeem. <laughs> oh, man, I wish Nadeem was here to hear that. <laughs> It's not a diva on the camera right now. I wish he was here to hear it because fuck that guy. But uh, how do I always stay positive? And honestly, man, it comes down to all you guys and being able to like, because the truth is like most of my day, like, and it's funny because I get in relationships with girls and stuff and they'll be like, all you do is on the internet. Because that's how girls talk when they're like, upset. that's I feel like how they sound. I'm sorry, girls. I know you don't really sound like that, but. I do this like all the time. I'm on Snapchat, I'm on like Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, everything. And I'm doing this all the time. And the truth is like, I really enjoy it. I, it's fun. I like interacting with you guys. I like helping you guys. I like filming myself do stupid shit on the internet. Like it's just fun. And that's, that's how I say so positive because I found something in my life that I can do that I truly enjoy. And I don't feel like I'm working at all. So that's how I say positive. If you're not there in your life, figure out what you really want, like what you really want to do with your life, whatever it is. You don't need to be making millions and billions of dollars, but whatever's really gonna make you truly happy, go for it and you'll be happy. You'll, you'll, you'll never wanna look back. That's all it comes down to. So do what makes you happy and that's it. So, next one. Oh. Man, what the, what, we can't even, nope. What the, no, hey, big Mickey Vaughn 999, they don't even want me to answer your question, see? Sorry, bro. Gains. Gains. Oh, I still can't answer this question. Okay, hold on. Hey, bro, good morning. I got a question, man. So work out your lower body, your legs. Build your size room, get your upper body bigger. So, what do you think? Should I work out my legs more often? Let me know. Thanks, man. Fuck legs, bro. It's all about arms. What the fuck? <laughs> no, seriously, though. All jokes aside, absolutely. You guys got to understand. You hold the most muscle mass in your lower body. Anytime you work a muscle in your body, you release hormones, okay? So if you're, if you're missing your lower body routines, just being like lower body stuff, um, you're not getting the most out of what you could be doing for your physique. So uh, absolutely. I'm not saying hit legs every single day because you have to hit arms every day, but hit legs at least two, three times a week and then arms every day. Oh, of course. So this is the second time in this video. Of course, I'm going to Olympia. I'm going to be with the one and only. This is my bad side. The one and only. Um, Dom. So we're going to actually do an announcement video on YouTube. He's going to do one on his as well and Instagram too. too um, of where we're going to be, what the booth number is, so you guys can find us so we can like party. Uh, and. Yeah, so you'll find us there. It'll be like, it's probably gonna be mayhem, but try and find me. You, uh, you'll be able to find me. You'll, you'll find me, it'll work out. Okay, last question, cause like, I'm really hungry. And actually it's funny, cause I filmed a bunch of videos today that I haven't eaten all day long, and you guys would hate me. And I hate myself right now, cause I'm really hungry. But last question. What are you, what are you thinking of eating today? What? I think what I'm gonna eat today, I think I'm gonna have a salad. I think I'm gonna eat a salad, like a chicken salad. You know? Why is that weird? Chicken salad? A fucking salad? A salad, bro. Yo, it's a good. It's a good day for a salad. It's a good man. day for like a big chicken salad. Yeah. Minus the lettuce. Plus steak. There you go. Plus cheese. Plus a burrito, and it kind of turned into Chipotle. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Fuck a salad. Hey. Okay, anyways, last instead question, last question. Instead of this? Clips. Oh, instead of clips? Yeah. Oh my god. The, the Excuse me, sir. I don't we're filming things. Talk about Excuse, no, but no, I pre- This. Come on, come over here, come over here. Come on. Join me over here. We're gonna do the last Q&A right here. Alright, what's up? No, just, I want you to be in it. Cause, right, cause right. He, wanted, he wanted to be in it, he just didn't want to see yeah, it. Yeah, he was just talking about it. Okay. So good. Okay.
I quit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I quit, bro. <laughs> 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 I'm going home. I'm going home. See you later, man.